What is up guys, Wasted Gamer here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play games on your PSP Go. Without further ado, just go ahead and get started. Uh, as, as you guys may know, the PSP Go does not take any UMDs, no nothing. So you're probably wondering, how do I put games on the system itself? Now, the easiest way to do this, right, is if you have a PS3, it's just to connect it directly to your PS3 and transfer it like that, which I'll show you in this method. But there's another method you can use, which is connect it to your PC. You have to download this application called like GoWay or something like that. I don't know what it's called, right? But you can download it from the PlayStation website and you can transfer your games from there via the PlayStation Store. But the easiest way to do it is if you have a PS3. So this is the method I'm going to show you. So let's get started right now. So first off, obviously, we're going to use the cable that was provided with the PSP Go system itself. So it's going to connect to the USB slot in the front right there and then just connect it to the PSP Go. So make sure it's turned on. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to USB connections right here. So that means you can transfer stuff. So you go to USB connections, now it's in USB mode, so that's where you're, you want it to be at this point. So that, that's the first part you have to do of this method. So the next part of this method is, right, before you do that, what you might need to do, if you first got your PSP Go and you've not activated or anything like that, first what you'd want to do is go to account management. So I'm going to click on account management and then I'm going to go all the way down to system activation. And what you would do is you would click on PSP system and you click on game and you just hit system activate. Since I've already activated my system, I don't need to activate it again. So that's what you would do. You would activate it and you even do have the choice to deactivate your system if you want to deactivate it. So that's pretty cool it is. Now, there's another issue, right? This is an issue I had and this may be helpful for people out there who, who are having this issue. There's this error message that comes up when you try to activate your PSP Go over here. Right? There's an error message that will come up saying oh, well, there's an error trying to activate it. Now, if you have that problem, if it's having an error trying to activate it, right, when you do this method, what you need to do is turn off two-step verification. I tried like everything I did, and then I searched the problem up online, right? and the problem is, right, if you're having this error message, is turn off two-step verification. That's with activating your PS Vita, your PSP Go, or even your PSP 3000. So turn off that setting two-step verification and you should be good. So now that you've done that, make sure you've downloaded your PSP games onto your PS3. Make sure you've downloaded that. Now, I don't know how long it'll take. It just depends on your game file size and stuff like that. So make sure you go in the PSN store and download them onto your system right here. And it should show up here like this. Right? So once you've done that, it'll appear over here. Now, once it's over here, you just want, okay, let's do GTA China Town Wars. We're gonna press triangle right over here and you have the setting copy, right? Now we're gonna copy it over to the system while it's in USB mode. So we're gonna click X and then it should say, where do you want it? So it does give you the choice over here to put it in your memory card or your actual internal memory of your PSP Go. So depending on where you wanna put it, right? You can put it wherever you wanna put it, depending on where you have more space. So. So we're going to put it over here in this one right here. So that's where I got more space. So it's going to active. It's going to activate, right? Showing you it's activating. It's going to tell you to please wait. So this may take a wee while. Now, it's, now you have a message saying copying. Now it should be copying over right here. And this is what it'll look like on your PSP Go while it's copying over. So so all you have to do now is let it copy over, right? And once you've let it copied over, you know you should be good to go, and it'll show up on your PSP system itself. So that's how you do that right there of how you to transfer games. Whereas right? doing it through the PC, I find it kind of difficult to do it that way. But if you can get it to work that way, that's cool if you don't have a PS3. But if you do have a PS3, definitely use this method right here because it's the easiest method, right? Because all it is is pretty much plugging it in and just transferring it straight over right there. So that's how you do it pretty much. And you can also do the same, right, with your video content. So if you have any videos saved in your PS3, you can just transfer them straight over like that. And it gives you the choice again to put it on your SD card or your internal memory. And you can do the same with music and your photos right over here. So it's pretty cool it is. I think the PS3 method is the easiest method. It just gives you more options of transferring your stuff over easily, you know, on your system. So that's pretty cool that is. But that's pretty much how you do it, you know, because a lot of people were confused and stuff like that. And, you know, didn't know how to do it. But this is the best way to do it. And this is the best way I found, right? 
but you can decide which method is better but PS3 method is definitely one of the best methods and over here you can just transfer all the rest of the games that you have uh, on saved on your PS3 you can just transfer them straight over to your PSP Go you know so that's pretty much it so that's how you do it pretty much so, for so let's do a run through of what we did first we connected our PSP Go to the PS3 itself and we put it in USB mode after that we went, uh, we went straight to our PS3 and normally what you would do is you would first activate your system which I showed you how to do then you would download all your PSP games you have right you bought right on the store and you would download it straight to the system itself and then once you've done that you just hit triangle and just copy it straight over and that's pretty much it so that's pretty much how you do it it's very simple and very easy to do you know I just thought why not just make a quick video on it and just show people how to do it right on on their PSP Go pretty much so just to show you guys the game did transfer over see right there it transferred over in my internal storage right there you can see that and you can see all the other games I've downloaded on my system I've downloaded Midnight Club I downloaded GTA Liberty Stories as well so that's pretty much how you do it pretty much and that's pretty much it for this video right here leave a like if you like this video right here subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time I only paid five pounds for this one which is really good price from a retro store so everyone always asks me Western Gamer, how can I get a PSP Go? Like, like 300 pounds, 500 pounds. How am I meant to go and get a PSP Go? My recommendation is go to your retro store like I did. I went to my retro store and I've only paid five pounds for this. Five pounds. So I did an unboxing video of this. If you're really interested in seeing this in depth, I'll leave it on the annotations of the 